Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm here to do a video on some options for you guys who are dark skin or brown skin and want some contour options as far as powders. I have a few here that I love to use and been using for a long time and I want to share with you all because on Instagram you guys are always asking me, what do you contour with? What you contour with? Well, it depends on my mood. The Shea Moisture Mandily Dusk. Mandily Dusk. It's scratched off so you can't really see it, but it's the illuminating powder. And I did a video on it on my summer glow, but like I said, my lighting was kind of bad, so you couldn't really see the true color. But this is it, and I actually have it on right now. I've had my face on for about seven hours, I'll say eight to seven hours, and I'm a little glowy because I haven't repowdered since then. But this is what I use for my look for today and tonight. It is so freaking pretty and I love it because it does have an illuminating effect so it's not just a dark mark it actually has a glow effect as well my contour brush I've been using this is from Sephora I got it around I think February of this year and it's the best this brush it costs more than you want to pay but it's really really good and since I have like weird bone features in my face I have to really get in my corners and this works really well so this is what this color looks like it's kind of orange but then it's not so if you have yellow undertones such as myself that's dark skin this will work really good and give you that color balance that you need I'm gonna put a little bit right here it's just so pretty I think I love it so much because it's so blendable this is Rich Mahogany by Black Radiant. I've been contouring with this since I've learned to contour. And it is the best contour powder. It's deep. It's dark. It's blendable. Like I already told you in the last video, I compare their powders to MAC powders. That's how good they are. And this is the shade of that one. So you can see this is a little bit more rich than the Shea Moisture one. Because this is more of an illuminating powder. This is a straight pressed powder. So you can see the difference between how that color picked up. I know I have some on already, but I just want to do this real quick to show you. You see that? So sometimes I even put on my illuminating um, contour powder and I put this on top or vice versa just to deepen it up. But if you're light skin, dark skin, this pressed powder work for you. And it's also oil free. This is the highlight and contour palette. And it's in dark. And it looks like this. Now this is a softer effect. It's not as harsh as the pressed powder from Black Radiant. Or as illuminating as the Shea Moisture one. But it's something about this contour powder that I absolutely cannot live without. I don't know. It's because it's just blendable or it's just so soft it's a really really soft powder but it's still pigmented on your skin tone I'm gonna dip it in there you can see it's the same exact tone as the other ones but something about it is a little more brown and it picks up a lot better than the other ones I showed you and I already have stuff on so you probably can't tell but this one is so pretty I love it you can see it's a little bit more harsh you can see that right yeah, you can see it. It's a little bit more harsh, but this one is one I prefer more on my nose than the other powders. I wouldn't put the Black Radiant one on my nose because I'm not good at contouring my nose yet. But if you're a pro at contouring your nose, then it's fine. But for you and me who don't know how to do it yet, make me feel better by saying that you don't know either so I won't feel bad. I would prefer using the sleek one because it's more blendable and it's not as harsh. And if you're first time contouring and you want to practice, this is a must have because you already get the highlight powder on the side. And the highlight powder is the truth. I use this more than I use my NARS. It's just that good. It's my Graftobian. I think I'm saying it right. Graftobian makeup. I got this idea from Miss Creative Diva. I think that's her name. She is everything in life, honey. If you don't know who that is, go out and get your life right. However long that video is she made back then is how long I've had this same exact little eyeshadow thingy. This here is deaf to all contour powders. This right here. This thing is an eyeshadow. It's an eyebrow filler. It's a contour powder. 
it do everything if you're looking for like a dupe to the anastasia brow duo but you want like a deeper color this is it like if i can't find that duo i use this like it is amazing it has so many uses for it and if you are really really dark skin this is what you need honey i'm gonna go ahead and just show you how it applies but look at that you see that it's a dark deep 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 color look at that it is ridiculous it's so pigment i just love it so much now i only use this when i'm going out because i'm not that good at contouring but makeup artists out there you professionals i don't know why you watching me but you professional muas all y'all y'all need to go buy this for your kid asap just do it just tell everybody i told you just do it it's it's amazing. Like I said, I don't know where I got it from. I just Googled the name and that's what the website popped up first is what I ordered from. But you see this? And you just blend it out. It's insane. Look at that. That death. It's life. I'm telling you. This is actually from Black Radiant as well. This is not so much of a contour powder, but it's one of those transitioning colors that really works as a contour powder, if that makes sense. So a long time ago, I actually made an Instagram post about this, and this was one of their baked bronzers, and this color is Blackberry. You guys remember it? It has a shimmer effect to it. So my use for this is once I do my contour, I will go in it lightly with just this to give me like a bronze glow effect. Looks like, and look. Look at that pigment. It almost can compare to the Graftobian powder in a way. But this has purple undertones in it. So this will be really, really good if you have like that neutral, dark, deep, ebony skin. So I think this is absolutely a must have but be careful with it because it can give you a dirty appearance if you don't blend it out right it was like you got dirt on your face you know i'm purposely not blending it out now so you can see it but this is graphitolian and then this is the black radiant and this is a great great contour powder to work with as a transitioning color i want to just contour your whole face with it because of the shimmer in it and what it's supposed to be used for this one's called cranberry and what i do with this is after i put my contour on or whatnot i like to just separate the highlight and that and kind of give it some color to it and this is what i use cranberry for look at that sickening pigment sickening so i'm doing this on purpose so you can see it so we'll try, we'll do the Graftobian side. This is the color. Look at that. See how I just added color to that depth? See how I just added that color? To that cheekbone it is life i can't remember how much it cost but it wasn't that cheap for this little thing but it's so pigmented you don't need nothing but like two tabs of it it's an excellent blush i love it and that is all follow me on instagram for daily updates and stuff because i disappear again all right y'all bye